Hello viewers, welcome back, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D Minecraft item within Blender. So, here's an example of a finished scene. As you can see, we have the uh, item and it has some 3D depth along here. So I'm going to quickly, quickly be showing you how to make one of these. So, let's just open up a new scene. Also, before you start, make sure you get your textures ready. Um, to get your textures, you could get one of two ways, you could either go directly into the texture pack folder and you know, in your library or whatever it is for PC or you can go on Google and search for your texture and then make sure the image size is exactly 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 or whatever size your texture is and then you know, get your texture that way and here we are, delete the default cube I'm going to be adding a plane hit tab to go into edit mode, hit W to subdivide and do this four times. Now if you look up here you can see it is now 16 squares by 16 squares. That is the default resolution of a Minecraft texture. If you have a texture pack which has 32 by 32, 64 by 64 etc and subdivide it another time to get the 32 by 32, subdivide again to get 64 by 64. But in this video I'm just going to be showing you the default 16 by 16. So. We have the uh, 16 by 16 square. I'm going to take this out. We're going to go to UV Image Editor and then open up your texture. So if I go here, go to Sword of Emerald. And, you know, I chose this because it looked unique and <laughs> everyone's done a diamond sword. Why not an emerald sword? So what we're going to do now is hit, go into edit mode, press tab, hit U to unwrap and voila and then we're gonna go to click faces so we can edit using the faces and we're gonna go put this into texture mode so we can see the texture right here and you can see all the squares that we need to get rid of so press C to go into this sort of face selecting mode and then just you know select all the parts that you don't need use the scroll wheel to make it bigger or smaller if you make any mistakes, press the middle mouse wheel and that will erase anything it's touching. So we're just going to go around this and get rid of all the faces that we don't need. And you can also use this um, UV image editor as a reference to make sure you haven't missed any spots. So just get, gonna get rid of the ones we don't need. Okay, and when you have all those selected, hit escape to get out of that mode. Hit X and delete the faces, and we have a 2D version of the texture with, without using the alpha channel. So, now what we need to do is add a bit of thickness to it. So, hit A to select all the faces, hit E to extrude, and it will automatically extrude along the Z axis. So, what we have to do is just drag this up like so, to however thick you want it to be, and voila. Now. You can see there are some faces which you can see through and it looks a little bit weird but we're just going to fix that in just a second and also when you texture it you're going to have a blurry texture you're not it's not going to be sharp like this so to fix that you go up to file user preferences go to system and uncheck mip maps uh, that's just in case if it does appear blurry to you that's what you need to do okay so i'm going to delete the lamp so it's completely shadeless so we can see all the faces that are missing. I don't know why some faces work and some don't, but I'm just gonna, you know, show you how to fix them now. So go into edit mode. We're going to select all the faces that are the same color that are like this. So you can see all the green ones. I'm gonna select all the green ones here that are a bit odd. And there's also occasionally this one dodgy texture which you can see doubles up. So you see that one there. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they double up on the uh, faces. So if you've seen any of those, select those. Okay, and these are all the green ones that we need to go through and fix. Uh, there's one there. So just select all the ones that are the same color, like so, and make sure we didn't leave any. And yep, so all the green ones. And we're gonna go into the um, UV image editor scale these right down and then put them in one of the uh, green squares 
and that will fix your problem right there. And I'm going to quickly do the same for the handles here. So scale them down, put them in the co right color, like so. And that should fix your texture problems. And voila, you can see we have the model for the item. So I'm going to position the camera so, you can, so we can see what we're doing and add environmental lighting just so I can show you here. So when we render it, we have the model and now all we need to do now is add the materi material. So um, we're going to go to the materials panel and add a new material. So I'm just going to call this sword. Uh, diffuse, just leave. Specular, I'm going to turn down. And we need to go into the texture panel. Add a new texture. Add a sword. And then open up the Sword of Emerald. Now, um, as you can see, the texture here has a load of filtering to it, which blurs it out, and it looks horrendous, essentially. So what we need to do is get rid of the image sampling on it. So go to image sampling, uncheck interpolation, uncheck mipmap, and change the filter to F, I think it's called feline. Um, that will get rid of the filter and also turn down the filter size and put on minimum filter size. And uncheck use alpha so we have a black background. If your texture doesn't have a black background, like sometimes I've had textures when I uncheck this, the texture for some reason turned yellow on the background. If you do that and then render it, some edges will appear like, you know, some edges will appear yellow for instance, they will change color. If you have that, use the alpha channel go to the material section and turn this black and I'll have black edges but this texture doesn't have that problem so I'm gonna put this back to white and you can see the edges are still black along here so have we done that and make sure the coordinates are on UV like so and then when we render we should have a yep there we go we have a completely fine Minecraft item ready to use in your scene. If you want to add multiple multiple materials like I have for um, my render at the start, what I did was I had two materials. I had one without reflections, one with, and I just assigned the handle that material by uh, going into edit mode, selecting the handle, making a new material, setting this to sword, um, unchecking the two, changing it, you know, Turn in the mirror up or down, go into edit mode and assign. And you can see that, you know, changes the material for that section. So that's if you're wondering about how I added reflection on some parts and non-reflection on the other. So voila, there is your item. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you will learn a few things throughout this tutorial. That's it from me, I'm Hayden from Flashback Effects, and goodbye viewers.